Hello everyone. So till now we have seen many important protocol like MQTT, HTTP. We understood what is TCP IP. We understood what is UDP, also SSH. Now we will quickly go through some of other protocols that you might come across when you are moving forward with IoT. Let's see. First one is SMTP. SMTP stands for Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. It is a protocol used for sending mail messages over the internet. SMTP is a client server protocol, which means that it requires a client program to initiate a connection with server and then communicate with it to send the mail messages. SMTP is responsible for delivering the email messages from sender's computer to recipient's email server. SMTP uses the port 25 and port 587. Now let's see the next protocol that is FTP protocol. SIM stands for file transfer protocol. It is a standard network protocol used to transfer files between client and server on a computer network. FTP was first introduced in 1971 and it remains one of the most popular protocol for file transfer. FTP protocol works by establishing connection between client and server via a TCP IP network. The client software connects with FTP server using username and password and then use FTP commands to transfer file. These commands are put for uploading the file, get for downloading the file and other commands are sim similar to Linux command like ls for list of directories, cd for change directory, etc. FTP uses two different channels for data transfer, two different channels, one for data transfer and one for command. Okay, so one channel is for command, one is for data. Using the command chan uh, channel, FTP gets the command, what clients uh, provide, right? And using the data channel, it upload, download, or overall deals with the files. Hence, it is utilizing the two channel. It means it requires two port numbers. So FTP uses port number 21 and port number 20. Now let's see the next protocol, COP. COP is also a quite popular protocol in IoT. Uh, before MQTT, COP was quite popular. COP stands for Constrained Application Protocol. And it is a lightweight protocol designed for use in constrained environments such as IoT. COP was developed by IETF, Internet Engineering Task Force, in order to provide a way for resource constrained devices to communicate effectively and reliably over IP network. COP is designed to be simple, lightweight, and effective efficient using a small packet size and limited set of message types to minimize bandwidth and processing requirements of device that uses it. It is also designed to be a scalable supporting both unicast and multicast communication. I hope you remember what is unicast and what is multicast. Unicast was point-to-point -point communication, right? Only one sender, one receiver. Assume there is 10 receiver here. Then a sender at a time only send the messages to one. What is multicast? One sender, multiple receiver. Okay, what is broadcast? Broadcast is one sender, and all the receivers, it is not like about selecting, okay? In broadcast, you don't do selecting, you just broadcast it. And 
the COP includes the features such as caching, observation, discovery to improve the efficiency of data exchange. COP uses UDP, that is User Datagram Protocol. I hope you remember this. What is UDP? How it works? As its underlying transport protocol, which makes it more efficient than TCP. Again, though it is faster and efficient, but reliability will always be higher in case of TCP and reliability will low in case of VDP when we are comparing this to, okay? Especially for devices with low or limited processing power and memory, COP also includes support for message fragmentation and retransmission retrans to ensure reliability. COP uses client server architecture with COP client sending the request to the COP server. which respond with COP message. COP message includes header, options, and payload. And they can be used to retrieve, update, delete resources on COP server. COP also includes set of security features, including data gram transport layer security, that is DTLS, for secure communication, authentication authorization mechanism to ensure that only authorized devices can access resources on COP server. AMQP, Advanced Message Queuing Protocol. It is an open standard protocol for message-oriented middleware that allow application to send receive message over network. AMQP was developed by AMQP Working Group which includes major players in messaging and software industry such as IBM, Microsoft, Red Hat. AMQP provides a framework for messaging, message queuing, routing, and a, re and a reliability, making it an ideal protocol for distributed system and complex architecture. It supports wide range of messaging patterns, including point-to-point, -point publish, subscribe, and request response. I hope this all rang bells into your minds. Point to point, here there could be a COP protocol, correct? What is publish, subscribe protocol? We already saw this model. It is MQTT protocol. And we saw one protocol which uses request response. That is client server model using HTTP protocol. AMQP works by defining a set of rules and message formats that application must follow in order to communicate with each other. It uses message oriented approach where messages are exchanged between, between application instead of direct calls to method functions. AMQP includes the features such as guaranteed delivery, message acknowledgement, and transaction support, which makes its reliable, robust messaging protocol. It also includes support for message routing, filtering, allowing the message to be selectively sent to different destinations based on their content. AMQP is designed to be platform independent and it is supported by a wide range of programming languages and operating systems. It also includes support for interoperability with other messaging protocols, making it easy to integrate with existing messaging system and application. AMQP is widely used in enterprise system, cloud-based application and IoT solutions, where it provides a flexible and reliable messaging infrastructure for complex distributed system. Now let's see the STOMP, STOM, Simple Text Oriented Messaging Protocol. It is an open standard protocol for messaging middleware. If you remember, 
this statement kind of match with AM QP. Reason being, both are very similar, which provides an interoperable way for application to communicate with each other using simple text based format. Stone was designed to be a simpler and more lightweight alternative to more complex messaging protocol like AMQP. I hope this statement given you a good idea what is Storm. What, what is happening here? It is a text-based format. That is, the messages get transformed or the requirements are text-based, not in other format, other complex format. So it is lightweight and easy to use alternative for AMQP. Storm uses a frame-based communication model where messages are exchanged between client and server. That means it also uses client-server model as a frame with each frame consisting of series of headers and message body. Storm provides a flexible set of message exchange pattern, including point-to-point -point publish, subscribe, and request response. Storm is widely supported by a variety of programming languages, making it an alternative option for cross-platform messaging. It can be used with wide range of messaging middleware, including message brokers like Apache, MQ, Rabbit, MQ, and other. No need to worry what is this messaging middleware, what is Rabbit MQ, though you can read about it or in future we will see some of this. What is Rabbit MQ? We will see Apache Kafka. We will see about it. Right now you can leave this part or you really have the curiosity, then I would suggest go through it. It won't harm. Storm provides a lightweight and easy to use messaging protocol for a wide range of applications, particularly those that require simple messaging with low overhead. It is widely used in web application messaging systems and IoT solutions, where it provides a reliable and efficient messaging infrastructure for distributed systems. So I hope you understood this lesson. In case of any doubt, any questions, you know what to do. You just need to put your comments either on Skill Anything website in under the lesson, there will be a comment session or under YouTube video. Both are acceptable. Our TA will reach out to you and your doubts and questions will definitely get resolved. So that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Till then, bye.